Michael Vick said that mixed martial art was the same thing as dog fighting. Well, the last time I realized, I think we have a choice to get in a cage and fight. What's up? I'm Tito Ortiz for PETA. This is competition to us and uh, we compete as athletes. These dogs don't have a chance to make a decision of what they want to do because they're pushed and forced into fighting. Dog fighting is very barbaric. It is happening across the United States in every town that people live in. But a lot of people don't know about it. I guess the only the people who do the dog fighting know about it. People are made money off from the dogs. A man's best friend, that's what a dog's for. I mean, that's what, I have two dogs that you know, I love and treat them you know, like family. And I think that's the way the animals should be treated. People expect me to have pit bulls or Rottweil or something else. One's name's Chester. That's about uh, 15 pounds. I don't know, maybe about a foot and a half off the floor. And kind of dog like me a little bit, it's kind of funny. Then we have Cherry, and she's half his size, but she's probably about eight pounds. And uh, you know, they're lovely dogs, they're smart dogs, very intelligent. We're an organization that is, we guidelines through um, rules and regulations that we had to abide by. And when I get a chance to fight somebody who was a dog fighter, I mean, I think the rules will be thrown out and all of a sudden you get a one-on-one -on -one personal thing. Then do is, of course, go to PETA.com and find out what they can do to help out the public for this dog fighting to completely stop. The only people that can make a change is us.